how do I, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm going to be hitting up No Man's Sky on my PC save. And what I'm hoping to do is rerun the expedition. There's only seven days remaining, and I'm hoping to get myself a oodles and doodles of Quicksilver that I can spend and get myself the full Viking armor set. Yes, I'm hoping to be able to run this in about two hours to three hours approximately to get that amount of Quicksilver. I'm looking at about 7,000, 10,000 Quicksilver. Let's see if we can do it, people. Let's get locked in and let's get started. Heck yes, here we go. Right, well, chums, I think I may have worked out a way to earn a shed load of Quicksilver with doing a very little. And it's using this new console as a little bit of an exploit. And this expedition. So head on over to here. Hit up the expedition terminus. Select your equipment. To... I've already done the Omega. I've already done Omega. And there's seven days remaining to do this, people. Seven days remaining. Select equipment. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to start the expedition and accept and jump on in, people. Okay, people. I've just seen something majestical and awesome. So oh, my days. Look, it's the E3 Diplo. It's the E3 Diplo, people. I have found the E3 Diplo inside of my PC experimental save. Oh my days, this is a memory moment for the captain of the Steves. You know how much I bang on about the E3 freaking Diplo people. It's because I've got a mod on. I have got a PC mod, but look how excited I am to see the E3 freaking Diplo on this planet inside of the expedition. Oh, it's freaking a thing of beauty, people. Yes, I can't tame it. I can't pet it. But just knowing that it's inside of the game... That it's a promise delivered upon. Yes. Hello games. You didn't do this. A modder did this people inside the view of us. But how easy would it be. And how majestically awesome does that look. To have a Diplo right here. I can't interact with it. I can't do anything. But I can take a freaking photo. I can have bragging rights. Heck yes. Freaking awesome. So awesome to see that in the wild. Hello games. If you're watching. Please add in the majestic Diplos. Just like this mod. You know, even if you just upped and lifted the freaking mod in, I'm fairly sure people would be like, oh, wow, I just saw the E3 Diplo. Just like I did. It's there. As a thing. Okay, right, here we go. Let's head on over this way then, people. Well, people, I've just adopticated myself a pet to fly there. Yeah, so I grabbed one of these lovely beetles. I guess I did. And it looks like it's a giant crashed freighter that you've got to fly to. Well, I didn't mean to jump off my beetle. Come here, you. Oh, fudge it. I'm going to break my legs. Go on. Well, let's just get there anyway. It was nice to be flying there in style and finesse, but yeah, that didn't. That was. That was. That wasn't long lived. But the E three Diplo people. The E three Diplo. I'm not going to get over that for a while. Look, there's another one. There's two of them. There's two. There's three. There's three E three Diplos all in a row. Diplos it do Diplos in a row. Heck, oh, there's a fourth one over there. Oh, look, and they even turn their heads. Look. Look, they're rotating their heads, people. Ah, oh, that's majestic. That is freaking... Ah, oh, there's two more over there. This world is full of them. Heck yes. Oh, that is so awesome. I'm so tempted to come to this planet, people, inside of my my actual PC save. All right, let's get the, let's get the coordinates there. So there's the coordinates down in the bottom corner. I'm going to come here on my PC save. I'm going to put a base here. I know it's already swamped with bases, this planet, but... Just so I can see the E3 Diplo in its natural environment. Holy moly, that was awesome. Okay, coolio. Hello, games. If you're watching, please, please, just pick up this mod and put it live for everyone. Make it so maybe we can actually, you know, interact with them. Maybe have them as a pet or something. I don't know. But yeah, just, just make them a little bit more canonified. I mean, if a modder can do it, surely you can. You, you know, you're the wizards. There we go. Let's, let's uh, do that then. Cool. And I'm just going to cancel that out. If I... Why is it greyed out though here? Alright. Well, let's use the analysis visor and let's just scan three things then. Okay. Interesting that it's not picked that one up for me, but it did the other two. So on some planets it looks like I may have to scan a little bit of junk. Um, can't scan the E3 Diplo, can I? Oh, 
I can. Ha <laughs> ha! I scanned the Ivory Diplo. Sweet. I wonder if I can name him. Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Let's go into the discoveries. I don't think it's going to be there. It shouldn't be there. No, it's broken. See, he's not there. But at least it can counted as a scan. Heck yes. Okay, right. There we are. <laughs> uh, God, log. I'm going to get over to my expedition. There we are. And I'm going to pop that. And I'm not going to claim all those exosuit upgrades. They should be just sitting here. Look, I've got nine of them so far. So that's another thing you're going to get ambulantly, people. It's a shed load of additional storage space. Sweet. Okay. Well, I kind of think at this point you kind of get what I'm doing. So I might as well do Rendezvous 4 and Rendezvous 5. And then reconvene with you after I've done those two. Obviously, if I come across some more E3 Diplos or something amazing, I'll be sure to share it with you. But I will see you after I've done phases four and five otherwise. Okay? Cool, yeah. You know what, people? Redoing all of this sort of Atlas Parpy. Well, it. Redoing this expedition, you do come across some lovely visual sights. It's not the worst of expeditions to do to earn yourself a shed load of Quicksilver. And if you haven't got nothing to do in between weekend to weekend, rerunning this, it's not too bad. Not too bad, to be fair. I mean, it's not the most exciting of expeditions, but it's definitely not the least boring. So there we go, let's do that. Lovely jubbly. New product to learn to cater. Yes! Awesome! Cool, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much that. We're going to expand our base now. So, yeah, I'll see you once I've actually finished all this expedition. And uh, we'll see how much Quicksilver we get at the end, people. Oh, look! I just got a new subscriber! Thank you, TJM Flame! Lovely jubbly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, or madam, whatever. Well, man, chums, I've relocated my base. I deleted it where it was. And I've moved it over to this Diplo-infested planet. Now, when I started building here, there was a load of Diplos wading in the water and all sorts of stuff. Now you can see beetles are here. But, um, yeah, looks like the, for whatever reason, the Diplos despawned at night and didn't come back in the day. I can only but hope that they reappear here because it looked freaking majestic and awesome when I started building. Anyway, I'll pop on outside and I'll just show you what I've done with this base. Come on, off the ladder. Right, well, there's a few floors here because it's a bit of a watchtower, this. Okay, come on, come on. Down the ladder we go. It's a bit of a maze to get back out as well. But yeah, hopefully I'll get there in a second, people. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, somewhere around here is the exit. There we go. It's got a landing pad on it. Ah, oh, for fudge's sake, my door's disappeared. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's just me being an idiot. Here we go. There we are. There's the door. I guess. So let me show you my base, people, that I've built here. Bit of a shame that the Diplos aren't here right now. But look, there we go. I've got a few little uh, domes going on. I need to put some nip-nip in them. And I need to be able to make my cookies here a little bit later. So it's my cookie-building base. It's a shame the Diplos aren't anywhere to be seen. They were just here, where my ship is. But oh well. Okay, they're, they're, they're freaking disappeared. But there we go. That's my nice little base. What's oh, Sam? Oh, I could do with putting another tunnel from there into the centre column, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that quickly. All right, here we are. Bum, bum, bum. That's why I thought my door had disappeared. Go into your camera mode. Take out this one. And we can rotate that round. Like so. And then I just want one more glass corridor in there like that. So then I can get into that centralmost corridor quite easily. All right, people, I re-upload my base. What a shame, though. The diplos were right here. Dang it! Oh, yeah, upload base. Done. All right. Well, anyway, I've got to continue on with this expedition, but I am nearly done, people. I'm nearly done. Well, jumps. You can see my base is just there, just over here, past this knowledge stone. I just saw a Diplo. There he is. There he is. There's the E free Diplo. Now, there's no storms right now. Now, this is night time. There's normally more of these, but there are in close proximity to my base. Oh, it just feels majestically awesome to know that the E free Diplo frequents the actual game. 
I mean, look at him. I mean, yeah. I, it's not going to be in every game, obviously. Only those that use the Daplicus mod, which I'll put a link inside the video description. If you are running a PC, you can install this mod and you can see this Diplo upon this beautiful planet, people. I mean, look at it. Isn't that a thing of wonder? I mean, yeah, look, its feet don't quite touch the floor properly, and that could be why Hello Games haven't added it in. It is a little bit janky, but then so are our blinking giant worms that look nothing like the ones in the trailer. But look how more organically alive this Diplo looks. You know, it's so much better animated than the Diplos that we have inside of our current iteration. I mean, at some point, his neck may even spin on a pivot and turn left and right. It, it's just freaking majestically beautiful, isn't it? It really is. I mean, look at it. It's far better than any Diplo that's inside of current iteration right now. I could just watch this for like 10 minutes and then probably get bored and never look for them ever again. But you know what I mean? It would be nice. I mean, Hello Games did say that we'd find creatures like this on every single planet and the E3 planet was just a thing, you know. It was just one planet amongst billions and, you know, the whole universe is to be discovered with creatures like this. But no, sadly, not a thing. Not a thing, people. Well there, chums. I have got to where I should be to pick up a Sentinel Interceptor ship the whole time I've been playing. My network settings have been disabled and so forth and so on. So technically, I should see a Sentinel Interceptor ship here. I don't. I don't see anything. I think it's because there's a giant base here. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try reporting the base and see what actually happens. Yep, sorry. There you go. And, uh, yeah. Well, let's just take a picture here just to show that the Sentinel Interceptor ship is not there. Chickaboo. There's actually two bases here. So, yep, might as well do report the second one as well. Freaking awesome. Okay, so here we are. Zoom on out. There's two bases in the same location. This sort of shite happens far too often inside of the expeditions. So I've just got to hope that if I bring my ship nice and close, jump in my ship, out of my ship, log all the way out of the game, come all the way back in the game, I've just got to hope that the Sentinel ship is here. Otherwise, for me to find another Sentinel ship, it's just not worth my time. I might as well just wait for the expedition to end and um, just call it a day. Because that just sucks. Okay, Johns, well, reporting the bases has worked. It's brought back in the Sentinel Interceptor ship. I know people build bases thinking that it's going to help those, but it does actually hinder them immensely. So here we go. Let's go into here then. Let's see what we can do. So I only need the harmonic brain. So if I take the Haline brain, damn it, I have no freaking storage space story of my life well it's because i'm saving all the storage space modules to transfer it. well chums i've pretty much finished the expedition so there we go i'm setting up some fireworks i guess might as well have a little mini celebration on my diplo well not that you can see any diplos in close proximity at the moment but there's a beetle flying up to the fireworks yes fly away beetle before you get scathed thank you lovely jubbly okay cool yeah well, that's, that's the fireworks. Nice! Okay, jump. so this is my final badge to pop. So we're flying inside of the Atlas to finish this off. So here we go. Just got to pop that badge. Nicely done. We've got some Hexite. Heck, yes we do. Fly on in. Skip that. I'm just going to go down, speak to the Atlas, and then I'm done. Now, I'd say, all in all, this has taken me about two and a half hours to do this. So we'll see how much Quicksilver we get at the end of this to see if it was worth that time spent. I guess. Right here. Let's land a gate. Now, I could have done a little bit better in the way that I uh, supported myself in this one. I could have given myself the idiom drive right from the start. Could have given myself some warp fuel. I could have given myself some modules for warping. There's a lot of things that I could have done to actually help myself out, giving myself some, um, oh, whatever, whatever, all the different sorts, sorts of things that I may have needed for this expedition, people. And there's quite a lot of it, to be fair. Righto, let's have a little chat to this guy then. Demand answers, did he day Lovely, lovely. Done, diddly, and done. Fuck yes, listen to the Atlas. There we go, people. We've got the triumphant music. Oh, my inventory's full. 
for fudge sake. Okay, well, I'll just get rid of anything, really, at this point. Might as well. Okay, cool. Let me accept that. Done. Then I can pop this badge. Lovely, lovely. Then I can go all the way over to the last page. Click that. Compare. Claim ship. It's going to stick that ship up here, isn't it, now? No, it's not. That's cool. And we've accepticated. Done, dilly, and done. Right, now if I just fly out of here, go into the Nexus, I should be able to finish off. Okay. Like, yeah. Let's go. I'll see you inside of the Nexus, people, inside the view of us. Right, people, so when I started out, I had about, what, 40 Quicksilver left? In here, I've got 10,800 Quicksilver sitting there, ready to be banked over to my actual proper save, as well as I've got loads and loads of storage modules, mainly because I duplicated them inside of here. So I'm going to throw those out to the save. Hopefully I can. There's a few other bits and bobs that I want to retain and put into my storage box. So let's go on over here then, and let's see if we can actually muster that. Okay, so we've completed our expedition. Let's go hit this up. Okay, end expedition, but before I do that, obviously I want to grab all of them. Have those, yeah. You know what, I'll take the voice of freedom as well. <laughs> Why not? And uh, what else do I want? I want more of those, heck yes. So yeah, you know what, I'll fill this up and then I'll reconvene and show you what I chose to take. Okay, okay, jumps. this is what I've managed to get myself. So here we go, we hit end expedition. We should get the scorecard now, accept. There we go. Let's see what we end up with. Let's see how much Quicksilver I get for this, people inside of your verse. So yeah, I say it took me about, what, two and a half hours. I don't know whether it actually gives you the amount of time spent inside of here. But yeah, not too bad, people. Not too bad at all. So I was running this late on the Sunday evening. Yeah, cool, yeah. Quite a lot there. So yeah, there's only seven days remaining left on this expedition now, people. So here we go, 10,800 Quicksilver. Very nice. And uh, yeah, cool. Oh, it's giving me even more Quicksilver now. Bundles and bundles of Quicksilver. Heck yes. Brilliant, eh? And we've done all of the optional quests. So there we go. Completely finished this time. And there we go. It's um now converting my save, people. Okay, right, well, I'm back inside of game. Now let's head on over to that console over on said wall and go pick up all that stuff that I should be getting. Yeah, I've now got 11,150 Quicksilver. I'd say that was well worth doing two and a half hours for 11 freaking grand's worth of Quicksilver. I guess let's head on over here because that's not the only thing I got. I've got all of this. So, yeah, I've got myself a shed load of that. Heck yes. I'll transfer these over to my freighter. We can put those in my trophy area. Very cool. Might as well put those on my starship. Starship. Yeah, looks so cute. I'll put those on my starship now. Lovely. Jubbly. Don't know what's in there, but we'll have that anyway. I'll put that on my freighter. Put that on the freighter. Starship. 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 It's a shame there isn't just a transfer rule button, and then you can figure it out later, you know. Or an auto stack option, so it automatically puts it where you've already got stuff already. That'd be nice, an auto sort option. Anyway, we've got all that sort of stuff. Let's go and spend my lovely Quicksilver. I want the full Viking armor set with this. Here we go. Quicksilver items. Um, is there appearance? Gestures, appearance. Here we go. So I would like all of the... Where is it? Come on. No, this is what I want. I want that. That The armor set was like 3,000. This helmet is 3,000 as well. Insane. Okay, well, I can't afford any of that. We've virtually spent all my Quicksilver yet again, people inside the view of us. Yeah, there's a lot we can't afford there. I'd like the red drop pack trails as well. Thank you. I'll have that. 
Um. Oh, 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 no. Can't afford that. We're down to 630 Quicksilver left, people. So, yeah, that's that's pretty darn freaking insane. Anyway, I'm going to go stick that armor set on now, people, because that's why I wanted to rerun and grab a load of Quicksilver just to get the Viking armor set to make myself look even more scarier as a pirate. Heck yes. So, Viking armor. Is that the ones? Well, that, that didn't really change much, did it? Lovely. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. Just took a little while to catch up there, didn't it? All right, torso. We go for this one here. Armour chest piece. Nice. And then we go for gloves. Like, yes. I want the armoured gloves. Legs. We go for the armoured legs. Boots. We go for the armoured boots. Hmm. Okay. Markings. We want a bit of red on there. Did I not have the markings on them? Okay, I didn't, did I? Cool, red, white, black, that's cool. Gloves, markings, red, white, black. Coolio. Armour, markings, red, white, and... Um, oh, there's two on there, that's fine. Torso, boom. Red, white, and black. There we are, people, that's everything. Yes. So that's my full-on piratey look. And I think I'm looking great. Hold on. It created a double ganger of me on the platform. What the actual flying fudge has happened? It's duplicated me. <laughs> I've never seen it do that before. That's freaking weird, isn't it? Holy mackerel. That's funny. Okay, right. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that's bizarreness. Bizarreness indeed. I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, to create a lovely autosave. But yeah, look at me now. I'm looking freaking fantangly awesome. So yeah, I got the full armor set within like two and a half hours, which I think was kind of worth it. Kind of worth it, kind of not worth it. But at the same time, if I go over to a station now, I can fully upgrade all of my exosuit because I've got loads of uh, loads and loads of storage thingies. So I can do all of this, I can do all of that. So I'm going to go do that quickly. I'll see you over at the station, people. Okay, right, well, back inside a game. Let's head on over to this little capsule here. Boom. Let's just go to town on this, shall we? Hold on. I've got loads. I've got loads of storage thingies. Let me, let me, let me, let me just stay in here, please. Yeah, don't throw me out. Do all the technology. Holy mackerel. Did I get enough? That's the question. I've got a hundred and like, look, you can see it popping down. Yeah, hundred and, what, ninety-four, ninety left now. Holy sugars lumps. How, how much storage space do we have now on our suits? It's been freaking years since I've done this, people, so forgive me for not knowing. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, I can't go any further than that. That's that's insane amounts of storage. Awesome! Okay, right, well, let's head on over here. Jump in my ship. Out of my ship. And there we go, people. That's that's me looking fandangly awesome, don't you think? I think I do. That's a double thumbs up. You know what? That, that almost deserves an air grab. Have I got the air grab emoji? I think I do. Heck yeah! yeah air grab time! Anyway, thank you very much, you guys and the viewers of us for watching. I need to get the dancing emote, don't I? Yeah, emotes are what I need next. Until next time, people, you've been freaking awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, that jumps. I think that was some epic fun rerunning the expedition again, going through it all, mainly because I came across the E3 Diplo. I mean, how freaking amazing is that? I need to find them inside the NMSA 905 hub. So that means using the portal codes to get into the 905 on my PC save and establishing a base in the 905 on a sort of paradisey planet that has diplos. Can we find something as nice as that expedition planet? I should hope so. 
So I might even do that as a side adventure. I need to do the Atlas path. I need to do the new Atlas Eternal path and align myself with the Atlantid. Let's get the important stuff done first. But that still gives me another goal to do on my PC save. So there is a bonus of playing on PC. And if you're liking what I do here on this channel, please hit a like and a subscribe and notification bell. Share it out. All that sort of shenanigans. You guys know what you're doing in the view of us. Till next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the view of us.